Aaron, not often you see a triple play. Just what's going through your mind as that's unfolding, knowing the trouble that Chapman is in in that inning? Yeah, you know, Vaughn hit the ball pretty hard, and, it, you know, I'm right in line with Gio there. So um, how he hit it, um, you know, right away it popped in my head, actually, and, and Gio being as instinctive as he is, uh, you know, obviously did the right thing, quickly stepped on the bag, threw a strike to Rugi, who really turned it over well to, to – to really finish off a special play and 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 get us out of trouble there, especially you know when Hamilton comes in the game, obviously the threat that he is, you know. So I thought Chappie did a good job of of really, you know, controlling him a little bit and and you know shortening up and and controlling the running game to keep him from just being able to take off on him, and uh, you know and, and the boys did the rest. When that happens late in the game like that, does that create a feeling heading into the bottom of the ninth that this is our game, we can't lose that game after after that type of a play? <laughs> I, I mean, there, there's definitely an, – an, that's an energy giver right there. I mean, you know, crowds into that game. It's a real tight, you know, back and forth, very well-pitched game, obviously, where there weren't a lot of opportunities. The couple – obviously, we had a good chance the time before, and they made a great play. You know, Anderson – you know, going up the middle and, and having the instinct to go home in that situation was a tremendous play. Um, so, I, there, I mean, you, you see that kind of a play in that situation where you're a little bit up against it. Um, I, they were definitely fired up coming off. You don't, you don't see Chappie very often, you know, pumping his fist and smiling, and uh, that was a special turn by the fellas. You mentioned the pitch to Jordy Montgomery, career high 11 strikeouts, seven shutout innings. Just what made him so effective this evening? I, I you know what, I thought him and Gary did a great job of really uh, evolving as they went. Um, you know, I thought he got a little more reliant on the curveball, which was a really good pitch for him. It seemed like they were, you know, hunting the change up a little bit on him. Um, he had really good fastball command and good life on that pitch. Um, he started to incorporate the cutter more later as as the game went on, but I thought the curveball was a really good secondary pitch set up by having a really good fastball that he was striking all night. So he was on the attack. He was in control. Um, really exciting outing for, for Monty, and obviously we needed every bit of it. Tom Merriam, please unmute. Aaron, is it extra satisfying to win a game when the opposing pitcher was so dominant the way Rodon was? Yeah, I mean, look, you know, we haven't been scoring a ton of runs of late, and we've, you know, obviously we've been pitching really well. feel like the defense has been there, and, and you know, even though we made one mistake out there tonight, um, obviously a huge play there. And we've had a number of those plays where guys have, have made some special plays in the infield and some big spots, some big double plays, big triple play tonight. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these are games, you know, you got to be able to win these games. It's not always going to be easy. Um, you know, I know our offense, I still believe over time is going to, you know, wear you down and have nights where, you know, we're going to, we're going to put up a lot of crooked numbers, you know, right now it's challenging and, and, and the guys are playing, uh, really good when it matters and 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 tonight there were a lot of even though runs were hard to come by and Radon was dominant um there were some winning at bats there at the end even, even in the last inning where we didn't where we where we left the runners out there you know Anderson makes a great play and then Luke smokes a ball Luke Luke you know really really kills a ball there that you know is almost down the line so um and then obviously in that last inning just some winning at bats there uh to 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 set the table. Justin Shackle, please unmute. Hey Aaron, how how do you sum up all the elements that happen in a game like this from Montgomery's pitching to this triple play being turned in a tight spot to eventually walking off? It's a you know, winning baseball right there. That's, you know, you know, especially when you get in in games against other outstanding pitchers or a pitcher that's on in a particular night or you know you know hopefully we're when we're we're playing meaningful games down the stretch when you know you're not always going to be able to just beat up the other opponent you got to you got to find ways to win 
tough, low-scoring, hard-fought games, and, and the guys did an excellent job uh, in, in some really big spots tonight uh, coming through with some winning plays. What's the feeling like in the clubhouse after playing a game like this? Yeah, there's a little extra buzz after that one. That's that's an exciting one, you know. Uh, you know, I mean, the huge play, obviously, the triple play, um, and then just, again, where where it was difficult for us to – get much mounted offensively. I thought a lot of quality at bats there in the final two innings to give us a chance to ultimately pull that game out. Back to Meredith. Aaron, two walk-offs for Glaber this season. I know the first one was a little bit non-traditional, but what makes him so good in those situations? What, his ability to kind of slow things down late in the game in those situations? I, I think you said it. I think he does that well, you know, coupled with the fact that he's a – great talented player um and you know ever since you know he came to the big leagues he's thrived in those situations you know i, I think there's no question the more that's on the line uh, i think he likes playing in those situations he's shown that throughout his playoff career so far um and and obviously a lot of big at bats uh in those kind of situations that he was in tonight a no hitter a triple play. I know. What's next? 